I'm going to make a Indonesian corn fritters, so very simple. So what you need is a whole kernel corn in water or no water. And then you need a cornstarch here and you need a red onion. Uh, red is the best because they have a sweetness taste in it. Uh, you just need a couple of garlic, a little bit of salt, a bit of white pepper, black pepper. You do need a vegetables oil. Uh, for fry, it's deep fry, and then you're gonna need one uh, egg whites, and then you're gonna need some spring onions as well. We're gonna use both parts the lighter parts here and the green parts there, and you also need this kind of a machine. Open it up for me, you're the one who wants it. Come open it up. Diet <laughs> already. I haven't do anything. <laughs> so shut up. So we're gonna drain the corn water. Make sure it's completely dry. Then we're going to crush this in the garlic crusher here because I'm lazy. We're gonna chop this and we're gonna uh, dice this as well. I use two onions at the end, so if you are lazy to dice them, just put them here and they're gonna chop it up for you nicely. I got my spring onions chopped here, so this. So the next step is to um, stir fry them a little bit. And it's hot, oil is in, and then red onion, and then your spring onions. And then the last, your garlic. Set them aside to this kind of a deep set bit type of a uh, bowl. And then you have your leftover spring onions here. You just mix it in while they are hot because it will help to um, fragrance out the taste of the uh, spring onions. You can just take out like a handful like this. You just see, maybe, okay, maybe I need two. Maybe a little bit. So something like, like this. Yeah, like this is fine. So this will go into here. Like that. Once done, just directly mix into this. Okay, so... After everything is uh, blended well, sort of chopped, it should look like this. So you have uh, a little bit of those that we chopped and uh, that we diced and we have some that is in full uh, shape of the corn. But make sure you do not have way too much of the corn because if you have too much of the this kind of a full shape corn, they may not stick when you fry them. Just a little bit of a salt. Don't add too much, just add a little bit first. And then you have the white pepper, and then you have the black pepper. And now we continue to mix. Okay, excuse me using my fingers because this is only for own consumption, okay? So, <laughs> usually what I do is I take a little bit, after I mix everything well, I take a little bit. I try whether it has enough salt, it has enough white pepper or black pepper. If everything is good, then the next step is you put in your egg whites and your cornstarch. One egg whites. Please only use cornstarch. Do not use potato starch. It should look somewhat like this. So you can see it's a slightly pale color and you know that it's quite thick. Like that, they will be able to stick well. Big spoon, small spoon. Drop them. Once you drop them, press them a little bit, make sure they're flat. Once they are a little brown, gently flip them over. There you go. It's perfect. Okay, they are done. Creamy 
And this is what we got. <laughs> it's very crunchy as well. So some of them is a little bit burnt. <laughs> but what you see here, so these are the the effect of the cornstarch just now and this is the crunchy ones. So there you go, you have the recipe. You need to try. Uh, the only thing is the aftermath of the kitchen, it gets uh, oily. You get sweaty, uh, the house do have an oil smell, but it's all worth it, you need to try. This is Indonesian corn fritters or Perkedel Jagung. Is that Bailey? No, that's not. That's Bailey. So this one is Tofu, I'm taking care of him for a week and he's going home tomorrow. The two of them good friends. Once in a while, Bailey scolds him. <laughs> so Bailey will scold him again. Bailey scold him. Scold him, Bailey. Angry him. Angry. Stop it. I don't want to play. <laughs> On my previous videos, if you remember, I had the uh, mango. So I, I kept the seed. And they have been sitting, well, it has been sitting in this kind of like a damp uh, tissue for almost two weeks plus. So let's open it up. So this is how you germinate mango seed. Um, the first one week or two weeks, just put it in a wet, a wet towel. So of course mango seed, right? Look at that. It has sprouted. I am going to place them in here. Let's just make a little hole here. Okay, I changed to a bigger one because apparently after watching the video, <laughs> I'm supposed to place it like this. So this is the leaves and we have here the roots over here. So need to put it like this, make sure to kind of um, cover it so I don't really have to worry much of the pots right now because this is just temporary okay so cover it up like this and it's all done just need to water it now so once it's done they are still quite early in the germination so what I have right here is just a simple box if you don't have you can just use back the uh, plastic cover and just cover it on top, on top of the uh, pop. Okay, baby, let's go for a walk. So I'm gonna show you how he just put his head in by himself. <laughs> Show's <Just> back! <laughs> okay, okay. Look at the papaya tree. So the other one... We took one of the uh, papaya and then we enjoyed it. It's like really small, like this. So Bailey, um, what I need to do is just point to a specific location and ask him to pee. So he has never peed on this area. Let's see. Bailey, pee pee here. Bailey, pee pee here. Belly, head, belly, pee pee here. He's such a good boy. Where do you want to go? <laughs> Hazi, where do you want to go? Ah, yes, go home. So he's a really good boy. If I stand still, he will stay. If I walk, he will walk. He won't really leave my side unless he sees his friends. Hey, stay. You haven't wiped your floor. I mean, wet the paws. So, he knows the routine to go upside down. <laughs> it 
he has been like this since he was young with me. So he's used to this kind of um, schedule. No, not schedule. Okay, when he poops, okay, bye bye. You. <laughs> Wait, not done. Next week, we are going to Medan, Indonesia for a week. Um, we'll be going to a few places and enjoy food there. I'm gonna miss Indonesian food so much because I don't know when I'll be going back to Medan again. And Bailey will go to our friend's house, just next door, neighbor. So he's gonna be fine, <laughs> right? He's gonna have a lot of uh, fun time because my friend has a toddler and another Pomeranian. Thank you so much guys for watching. See you next week. Bye-bye.